Trump Rider again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do this effect. Spoiling water effect. The resolution is quite low, so yeah. So let's get um, inside Udini, and I'm just going to create a new scene. Uh, this don't even let me just copy this so it's easier. File new scene. This card the new. Right, fresh Udini scene here. And first thing I'm going to do is create. Uh, a flip container so oh sorry go into particle fluids flip tank uh, command click right I'm just going D and change the viewport background to black it's easier so alright and next thing I'm going to do is copy the size and paste it on the center and divide this by 2 so now I can increase the water level something like 2 and 3 no, 2.5 seems good alright 5 on the size it's good as well so we have our flip tank here and press L to lay this down Press C to color so it's easier. Alright, on the dot network, we just have a, a simple tank with boundaries, so this is good. I'm just gonna add particle separation 0.1 and the particle radius. I'm just gonna scale this down. The grid scale as well. Because this is a really small tank. Oop, maybe not. Two, one. All right, this is bad. Yeah, this is good. And now we need to create our bubbles. So I'm just gonna lay down a sphere. Just color this red. And this sphere is going to. Um, we're gonna create volume spheres to represent the bubbles so first I'm just going to change this to polygon 2 is good and I'm going to lay down a grid alright the grid size I'm just gonna make it smaller than our container so if we ghost as you can see and I'm uh, going to pull it a little bit down All right, this is good. All right, we have our grid, and next thing we're going to do is add a pop network. I'm going to use the the old the old network. I find it for for this case. I think it's really it's more simple to do. So, go inside the pop net. I'm just gonna add everything, and I can paste the. The other thing I did just so it's quicker. So I lay down a source and I can do it here. I lay down a source, and of course, I need to change this to the or use first context geometry, which is this one first, second, third, fourth. Right, the first and in the emission type, I change this to surface random you can see and of course I need to add velocity and let's put maybe that and the attributes I set initial velocity zero on the sides and on the y all right if we play this as you can see I'm gonna change this to real time as you can see so next thing I'm going to do is lay down a copy swap and I'm going to copy the spheres onto the points but if I do this as you can see let me just reduce the radius the particles start at zero scale 
and never stop all right and i want them to fade when they grow so the pop network as you can see i lay down two model no notes an attribute which is so i can um control fits it let me just have a little bit of it so I can, for each point, I can say the maximum and the minimum scale you're going to have. And then I lay down a property node. And this is going to smooth based on age. So when they, when they start, when they age, when they are born, they are going to start with zero scale. And then they are going to do go to half of that of this value so if and the limit is just to um, so they can die it let me pull this down a bit nope not this one all right so when they come in contact with the the top part they die let me just to yeah to this one Minus two point one. Yeah, this is good. All right, and if I play this back now, as you can see, the particles start with zero scale, and they die. And one more thing I can do. I'm not going to. To do this on this example is stamp the inputs and I can scale this and maybe random dollar pt and use the stamp on the uniform scale I'm not gonna use this on this one because those spheres are so small it doesn't matter so and I can add the mountain top as well Yeah, uh, maybe change the frequency a little bit. Nope, the height. I can even add more detail on the frequency. Nope. All right. All right, this I think this should work. All right, this should work. And copy sub. If I play this now, as you can see, we have our particles. So I think there are too many. So I'm on the source. I'm go just going to change the uh, this to maybe five. Yeah, this is good. And. Maybe add a little bit more velocity. All right, seems good. So now we need to make this interact with our fluid. So I'm gonna add a VDB from polygons. And the voxel size, I'm going to make this really low. And fill the interior. So we need to tell Udini to use this as a volume to to influence our particle fluid so on the autodop network as you can see we have a particle velocity and volume velocity here so first thing i'm going to do is add the source volume and i can even add a merge just in case we we want to add another thing and I'm going to connect this to the volume velocity. So on the volume, we have this cool presets here. And I'm going to change this to collision. And the scale source volume to negative one. You can, you can play around. I find this volume to work. And if you come to sub to top bindings, the uh, top tops is where we are right now. 
and the dy dynamics and if we come to the sphere this is tops right and we need to convert these spheres to tops so we have these bindings here and I'm just going to copy this and on the sphere on the VDB I'm just gonna place this here because they need to be the um, the same and we have another one which was the velocity so I'm just going to copy up oops press U press I and on the surface attributes I'm just gonna click this plus and the attributes I need the point velocity and the vector type it's velocity so here I'm just gonna paste collision velocity as you can see A collision and nothing has changed but they have now the attributes which stops can read and I can add a color if you want to make it easier to visualize uh, yellow maybe and this is a primitive and of course add the null and the null out so if I come to tops now I need to specify the volume path so um, sphere out volume and everything should be set up and one last thing I need to do is come to the flip tank and under collisions use volume velocity for collision make sure this is on of course uh, I can save it but I don't need uh, also you can mess with the flip solver the collision detection particle is the most accurate and move outside collision is not so but it's faster to compute I'm just gonna use this one of course receding needs to be on separation no no droplets you can add for loss for vorticity and the rest for shading but I'm not gonna use this under collisions the velocity type uh, I'm just going to change this to volume and the smoothing, I don't need smoothing almost at all, so yep, I think uh, everything should work now, you can use OpenCL but because I'm on the Mac so the scale velocity, here you can change how much the, the bubbles are going to influence the fluid I'm just gonna change this to maybe five so you can see the result but I'm just gonna play and I can even show you I'm not gonna use the VDB but the copy I can even show you the the spheres so play as you can see the scale velocity is too much and the resolution is quite low so the particles don't interact very well with the fluid and I think the limits are too low so come here to the pop net and as you can see the limits are too low they die before they reach the surface so just gonna change this yeah this is good all right and make sure i'm just gonna scale this down that it doesn't touch the the borders because then you will need to increase the receipt value and will slow down your simulation the resolution is quite low I'm just gonna scale the velocity to 2.5 and the flip tank to 0 0.2 the more uh, I need to change the visualization
you can scale up the the spheres as well and decrease the um, the particle count so you get a more turbulence fluid all right this was the I can even show you oh I don't have the flipbook here but uh, uh sorry so yeah if you do everything right you will have this kind of effect so thank you guys for watching i'm john prior and i'm out